Thank you for purchasing the Medline Qualitative Fit Test Kit. In this video, we will show you how to properly don Medline's N95 respirators, as well as how to conduct a qualitative fit test. Please check with NIOSH and OSHA for the most up-to-date regulations for fit testing in your state. First, open the respirator. The best way to do this is by grasping both the nose piece and the chin piece and snapping it open. If done properly, this will activate the magic arch. A pocket is formed in the respirator. Make sure you do not tear the respirator when you open it fully. Next, conform the respirator to your face. Place your chin in the pocket while holding the nose piece securely to your face. Move the bands toward the top of your head. Place the bottom headband below ears and the top band at crown of head. Conform the nose piece to nose and facial contours. Then fit the mask to your face by holding the respirator at the nose piece, gently placing one finger inside the chin pouch of the respirator and pulling down under the chin so the respirator fits snugly against the face. After pulling the excess material towards your chin, pinch the white band together under the chin and twist the twist seal chin piece. Doing so will tighten the excess material. Make sure you pinch and twist the twist seal and not just the excess material. The final step is the fit check. Place both hands along the edges, left and right side, as well as the top and bottom of the respirator and exhale sharply. If air escapes at your nose, adjust the nose piece. If air leaks at the edges, untwist the twist seal chin piece and repeat the previous steps. To properly don the cone style N95 respirator, Hold the respirator with the nose piece at your fingertips, allowing the headbands to hang freely below your hand. Press the respirator firmly against your face with the nose piece on the bridge of your nose. Stretch and position the top band high on the back of the head. Stretch the bottom band over the head and position it below your ears. Using both hands, mold the metal nose piece to the shape of your nose. To test the fit, Cup both hands over the respirator, being careful not to disturb the position. Inhale and exhale sharply. If air leaks around the edges, reposition the straps or adjust the strap tension for a better fit. Now that you know how to properly don your Medline N95 respirator, you can prepare for the fit test. Your Medline fit test kit will consist of the following items. One yellow fit test hood, two nebulizers, one labeled number one saccharin sensitivity test solution and one labeled number two saccharin fit test solution. One bottle of sensitivity solution, one bottle of actual fit test solution, instructions on fit testing, and two nebulizer replacement insert parts. These items do not come with the fit test kit, but are recommended to have on hand when conducting fit testing, water, paper, and a watch or stopwatch. Before you begin the test, explain the fit test protocol to the subject. Make sure the test subject hasn't eaten or drank anything other than water in the past 15 minutes, as this may affect the detection of the saccharin solution. You should also record the type of respirator being used, brand, model, size, and the name of the person being tested. First unscrew the bottom half of the sensitivity nebulizer and pour approximately one teaspoon of the solution into the nebulizer. Make sure you are using the nebulizer with the red text and the sensitivity saccharin solution bottle which also has red text. Once completed, you will unscrew the second nebulizer and pour approximately one teaspoon of actual solution into the nebulizer. Make sure you are using the nebulizer with the black text and the actual test saccharin solution bottle that also has black text. Next, you'll assemble the hood by connecting the snaps on the hood together. Doing so will assure more stability of the hood. The fit test procedure is broken down into two stages, the sensitivity test and the actual fit test. The sensitivity test is performed to find out an individual's ability to detect the saccharin solution. The sensitivity solution is made up of the same ingredients in the actual fit test solution, just at a much lower concentration. To begin the test, have the subject put on the hood without wearing a respirator. Instruct the individual to breathe normally through his or her mouth 
and to notify the tester immediately when they detect the saccharin solution. Remove the caps from the nebulizer and squeeze the bulb fully. Once the nebulizer begins to vaporize the solution, you are ready to begin. Insert the nebulizer labeled Sensitivity Test into the hole in the hood and start squeezing the bulb filling the hood with the sensitivity solution. If they do not detect the solution after 10 sprays, do an additional 10 sprays. If it is still not detected after 20 sprays, do an additional 10 sprays. If you're using a saccharin solution and 30 sprays is inadequate, the test should be stopped and a bitter solution should be used instead of a saccharin solution. If the subject cannot detect the bitter solution as well, the test should be stopped and a different type of testing called quantitative testing will need to be done. Once the solution has been detected, you can remove the hood and give the test subject a drink of water to remove the taste from their palate. This usually takes several minutes. Make sure you write down the number of sprays you used for the test subject. You will be using this number for the actual fit test during stage two. To perform the fit test, have the test subject put on the respirator they will be using. Make sure they put on the respirator properly and perform a fit check. Next, place the hood on the subject, making sure there is sufficient room for the subject to move his or her head side to side and up and down. Instruct the subject to breathe with an open mouth for the duration of the test and to report if at any time they sense the solution. Insert the fit test solution nebulizer through the hole in the hood and squeeze the bulb the same number of times you used in the sensitivity test. We do this only at the beginning of the actual fit test to make sure there is adequate concentration in the hood. To maintain the proper aerosol concentration while conducting the fit test, you need to spray half of the number of sprays used in the sensitivity test every 30 seconds of the test. For example, if it took 10 sprays to detect the solution in the sensitivity test, you should add 5 sprays every 30 seconds. Instruct the subject to perform the following series of exercises for 60 seconds each. Normal breathing, deep breathing, turning the head side to side, pausing for a breath at each extreme, moving the head up and down slowly, pausing for a breath at the top, talking or reading out loud, and bending at the waist or jogging in place. If the test subject can perform each exercise for 60 seconds without detecting the solution, then an acceptable fit has been reached and the subject has passed the fit test. If the subject has reported tasting the solution, they have failed to reach an acceptable fit and must redo the fit test. The subject should wait at least 15 minutes before retaking the test. After completing the fit test, you should screw the caps on tightly for each saccharin bottle to preserve the solution. Remove the tops of each nebulizer and rinse with warm water to prevent the nebulizer from clogging. And finally, wipe out the inside of the fit test hood. This should be done prior to each individual fit test to remove any solution residue. If you have any questions, please contact Medline or check the NIOSH or OSHA websites for the most up-to-date regulations for fit testing.